Embracing an anti-inflammatory diet to control and stop multiple sclerosis is challenging at first. There is so much conflicting information about diets out there. So let me share my experience that works. Hey, it's Dave. I was contacted by Sakina asking me about the correct diet to follow, which suppresses inflammation caused by MS. The first part of this video will be for Sakina. I'm going to tailor my food recommendations specific to the Moroccan diet. So go to this point in the video if you want to skip when I talk about my diet and how to, you can tell your own. So Sakina, your diet being on the other side of the world is quite different than mine. I understand the diet is heavily grain based, focusing on the wheat found in couscous, breads and pastries. One cup of couscous would buy about 60% of the selenium you need per day. It's a powerful antioxidant that helps to reduce inflammation. The gluten found in wheat might be inflammatory, just might, but the effects are different for everyone. Where I live, there is a big push to remove gluten from many foods. But that's not necessary for everyone. Personally, in my own personal experience, gluten doesn't bother me. But I know a lot of people it does. So you need to figure it out for yourself. I read that the Moroccan diet one of you, the signature dishes is tagine. Uh, forgive me if I said that wrong. But I understand it's a stew of chicken, lamb, or fish and vegetables. I am a big lover of vegetables. Combining them with white meat, like chicken or fish, is perfect. If I live there, I think it would probably make up most of my diet. So here is where the story expands to everyone. I'm going to show you my Fitbit app where I have all my diet information stored. If you were to see my diet like it was on a pie, 30% is carbohydrate. And the majority of that is romaine lettuce. It's a fibrous carbohydrate. I also have a bowl of old fashioned oatmeal, black beans, a banana, and a pumpkin seed muffin, <laughs> which satisfies my sweet tooth. But they are all starchy carbohydrate which aren't bad, but I function better with fibrous carbohydrate, which are less likely to be converted to fat. Going back to the pie, 44% is protein. I know that is much more than most people have, but protein achieves two things. One, it fills me up for the day. And two, it fuels muscle growth. I focus on chicken breast, eggs, milk, and whey. They are all complete proteins. Complete proteins have all the essential amino acids our bodies need. Animal-based protein like meat, poultry, fish, eggs, milk, and cheese are considered complete proteins. Quinoa and soy are plant-based complete proteins. To finish up the pie, 24% is fat. 
all the food I just told you about contains varying amounts. But a large source, about nine grams, is from walnuts. Walnuts have a load of good kind fats called polyunsaturated fats, which in my book are the best kind of fat. Wondering if a food is inflammatory or anti-inflammatory won't give you the real answer for multiple sclerosis. True. Fried foods are way more inflammatory than a bowl of vegetables. But the hidden secret is that the simple act of eating sets off the inflammation. Digestion is the biggest cause of daily inflammation. There's no way to avoid it. My thinking is since I'm going to ha since it's going to happen anyway, limit all food to one big meal a day. That lets the body clear out the inflammation for the remainder of the day. And I didn't just read that somewhere. I've practiced it for years and my MS keeps getting better and better. I think they're connected. So Sakina, crafting your diet is important, but the best way to reduce inflammation is to strive to eat only once a day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.